Hello guys, welcome to Asian Patriot. Today I'm attending the media test drive and first look for the second generation Genesis G9CN. We're starting with the uh, chauffeur driven because this is the uh, flagship sedan from the Genesis. And as you can see, we have a good legroom, about six to it. There's good legroom and decent headroom and everything feels very exquisite. The headliner, the door trim, wood trim and seat, everything feels very nice. I think we have about 20 minutes so i'm going to show you the uh, second row seats all the features now and move to the genesis experience center and show you the exterior design and go for our first drive so don't go away okay okay let's start with windows we have double laminate windows for the first and second row passengers so it's quite nicely isolated we even have active noise cancellation system so it's quite nicely isolated and we even have a uh, more right sunshade for the side so let me just put it down because it's quite still dark it's only about 8 a.m you can also operate the uh, rear shade uh, via this uh, eight inch screens located on the, uh, the armrest uh, you can also uh, change climates including uh, heated and ventilation seats recline the seats and massaging seats uh, you can choose uh, which one how hard you want it to be and uh, average duration so it's it's quite nice and uh, you can also move the seats like this so it's quite nice right so uh, we also have a genesis control right there um, we also have a this opens the door i'm going to show you when we get to test drive this car. Genesis control and wireless charging pad for your mobile phones, uh, for your VIPs. Uh, earphone jack, two C type charging ports. And we also have, a. Uh, you see this uh, UV, UVC says, uh, if you put your phone or stuff like there, uh, in about 10 minutes, it's gonna <laughs> clean it for you. So it's quite nice. Uh, we also have, uh, two events here this also came with the VIP uh, so we only have a uh, two seats right here two cup holders and because of the uh, VIP package we have uh, some shelf in here and we only get a uh, passage through because we have a uh, reclining second row seats and uh, we even are given pillows uh, seats are very nice uh, suede on the top is a makeup thing for your lady 23 speaker sound system by Bang & Wolf. So I'm going to also let you hear it. Air vents on the B pillar. Uh, this is how you open the door too. So you can also open the window and open the shades like this. You can also open this one too, like this. So you get to control both sides. So it's pretty nice. Wow, traffic there. And... Uh, we also have uh, two 10-point 2-inch screens right here. Uh, you can check the map so you know that you're not being kidnapped by your chauffeur driver. <laughs> you can also set the destination for the driver so you can search and everything. Um, Bluetooth headphone setup, uh, golf course real estate, I don't know, maybe just need to buy a house quickly. Uh, radio, music, uh, so you can plug in your uh, PlayStation and everything. Um, you can also see the camera right there so it's it's pretty good huh so you can change the view like this it's pretty nice and also you can change the uh, ambient lights uh, and we also have something called a uh, mood cur curator uh, which also plays music uh, gives you a sense and also change the uh, mood lamp and also Massaging seats, uh, vitality, delight, care, comfort. Uh, I'm gonna cover it more when we get this car as a press car. And this car is not cheap anymore. Uh, there's no international pricing given yet, but uh, here in Korea, Genesis is asking about 75K US dollars. So they really, Genesis made sure everything looks and feels uh, premium and exquisite. And uh, yeah, we do really, feel it's 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 quite nicely compared to the uh 
the facelift, first generation facelift, it feels very nice and uh, we have a very good seat. Uh, you can also go to rest mode like this and it will maximize, we'll push the front seat and it's reclining the seats right here. And one funny thing is, you can also, when it's done, just give it some seconds. It's gonna also unfold the uh, this one, and you can also put the uh, this one like this, so you can actually connect these seats a little bit. But I think there's a way you can make this flat, so you can feel like a king, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So everything goes away. Um, so you can, there's just tons and tons of room back here. Uh, this car also comes with the uh, optional um, multi-chamber air suspension and rear -hair, active rear -hair steering wheel system. So gonna let you uh, see how it works uh, when we get to drive it soon. So stay tuned guys. There we go. It's all done. <laughs> we also have this uh, privacy uh, thick C pillar, which makes it feel very nice uh, from inside. Yeah. Okay, let's start driving Genesis G90. Okay, okay, I lied. Uh, before we do, I really wanted to show you this. Uh, when you press this button, it easily opens the door. And when you press one more, it automatically closes the door, just like Rolls Royce. Okay, let's start driving now. Okay, let's start talking about the seats. Seats are very comfortable. We have a 22-way adjustable for the driver's seat and 20 adjustable for the passenger side. I don't know if you have a time to adjust all 22 ways, but it's very comfortable. And we also get massaging seats for the, even for the first row passengers. And I'm about 6'2", and there's plenty of leg room and headroom as well. If you push it all the way back, I cannot even reach the paddles. So, yeah. What about visibility? Well, visibility is quite nice in here. We have large windows all around, just like I told you. Side mirrors are bolted on the side, small windows near the A pillar. So, visibility is quite nice. We also have blind spot monitoring system and also alert system, which will greatly help you during your lane changes. So, yeah, it's quite pleasant place to be and although this is over five meter long sedan it's actually not that hard to drive and we have a uh, two large screens inside the car 12.3 inch for the gauge cluster 12.3 inch for the infotainment screen i thought this would be larger because even genesis gv80 comes with 14.5 inch screen but I have zero complaint because it's large enough. Uh, it's got great graphics and it responds very, very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to use. You can also use the Genesis control and physical buttons right there. And uh, it's got lots of physical buttons, so yeah, it's quite easy to use them as well. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about the powertrain pretty soon and almost forgot to tell you we have a 10 airbags in here including the ones between the uh, passenger and the driver you know <coughs> a tester also came with the multi-chamber air suspension and active rear wheel steering wheel system can i actually feel the system working in low speed yes the ride feels very smooth and composed and i can even feel the uh rear steering wheel working in action, it will turn up to two degrees and we'll also update you how those systems feel on higher speed. Yeah. Okay, let's do talk about powertrain for a second. A tester came with a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 producing about 380 horsepower, 390 pounds feet of torque. Engine made it to a speed automatic and a tester even came with optional rear bias all wheel drive system. Okay, so let me just let you hear it. Right now we're in comfort mode. Mm. 
pretty good. There's no uh, active sound design, but it still sounds pretty good. Really wish it, we had a V8 inside here, but this is in sport mode. Now, yeah, so right away it feels better and more responsive in sports mode. The uh, suspension firms up, um, it holds the gear longer and everything changes. So, I mean, like I told you, really we wish had a five liter Tau V8. Uh, so hopefully Genesis will add five liter V8, but this feels plenty powerful. It's enough to move this uh, five meter over two tons sedan. Yeah. I mean, this is no sports car, but it will <laughs> it will move uh, upon your command so pretty nice i mean brakes it's it's steady and uh, smooth one but when you uh, ask it it will bite down hard so pretty good and i'm quite surprised it's not that hard to drive you can actually see the end of the bonnet and uh yeah the Actually, when you start driving, you know, for a few minutes, it starts to shrink. So I told you it's not that hard to drive. It's very nicely isolated. You see, double laminated windows all around. And I think they spent lots and lots of time um, thinking about, uh, you know, making this car quiet. As you can see, we're stuck in a traffic, so I just turn on the adaptive cruise control and the Genesis G90 will keep a safe distance with the car in front. And if the lead car comes to a complete stop, it will come to a complete stop. And if the lead car, you know, start driving again, it will follow. So it also has, uh, you know, auto start and stop functionality working with the lane keep assist. So, you know, don't have to do much work so you know we have lots of traffic here in Korea I'm sure you guys have lots of traffic in the US Canada and many other parts of the world but uh, yeah if you drive the Genesis G90 uh, it's a very delicate system it's so quiet and it will just come to a full stop for you and it will just start following the lead car so it's a very good system. We're going to also show you the lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control working on highway pretty soon. Yeah, but this is even just having the adaptive cruise control is a lifesaver, right? For you, driver and for the chauffeur, for everybody. And see how it smoothly it operates. It's also showing us the augmented reality. You can press uh, this button see that that's why you have to be careful because uh, if the car suddenly comes in the, the car does not notice and at the last moment it will just apply brake so yeah you still have to pay attention yeah and uh, like I was talking about uh, you can change the view here um, that's like Tesla model this is augmented reality uh, we also have a head-up display so uh, there's so many screens yeah, and we do not have uh, digital side mirrors. I, I don't think we need it, okay? So I told you there isn't any five liter V8 for this all new second generation Genesis G90. Really wish Genesis will add that V8 soon in the future. But for the long wheel base model, Genesis has the 48 volt supercharged 3.5 liter twin turbo. So really hope to show you that one soon in the future too. But this one, I mean, it's powerful enough, but I just want that meaty V8, you know, for this flagship sedan. An engine is made it to a speed automatic built in house. We're also given paddle shifters. So let me just show you working in actions. Two, wow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three will it go into second gear second wow so i'm sure you guys are more familiar with zf a speed automatic I cannot say this is faster but i would say this is very close to zf a speed automatic and love the fact that the uh the dial type gear selector yields lots of room inside 
And we also have Genesis control right here that we can also ride on. Three stage heated and ventilation seats, auto hold, 360 camera, and you can also use this button to close the door. So yeah, we got pretty much everything inside here. And I'm sure you guys are not going to really like this, but we have a two spoke steering wheel design, but it's actually very comfortable to be driving this uh, in long distance uh, driving situations. Uh, we have a larger controls, just like Genesis GV60, easier to use, but once again, I'm not sure if you guys are going to like this. Uh, we also have a honk button right here. So yeah, the leather feels very nice though. Yep. All right, guys, we have arrived to the turning points. Uh, let me just quickly show you the car from the uh, outside. We do not have much time, so let me just quickly go over it. It's definitely Genesis uh, looking at the car from outside. We have a large crest grille in the middle, Genesis lettering on the top, and it looks like we have, uh, I don't know how many, like it's more than 10 pixels per line. So we have a two lines DRL headlamp system LED headlamp system going on. Uh, we have a large opening on the bottom that's radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control, 360 camera crest grille, and air curtains on the side. And we also have a, what do you call this, a clamshell type. Uh, so there's a minimum parting lines everywhere. So definitely Genesis feel to it. Uh, looking at the car from the side, we have a 20 inch rims is wearing 245 45 by 20 on front and back and i personally i think it looks a little bit busy so guys do let me know what do you think about it and uh, also two lines side repeaters let me just turn it on works like that so pretty nice and and also this line this line chrome line starts here is carried all the way all the way all the way to the rear until like right there. So it's pretty nice. We have a plus type door handle, pretty nice. And uh, side mirrors are bolted on the side, uh, a pillar to give you better visibility. And I really like this line. Um, sort of reminds me of Bentley. Uh, it's got that premium uh, privacy thing going on. So pretty nice. Um, that's for the gas tank. And looking at the car from the Rear, we also have a two lined tail lamp system. Genesis says it's full LED headlamp tail lamp system. Genesis lettering right here, G90 all wheel drive system optional. And that's how you open the trunk. That's a camera for the 360 camera. We have a dual exhaust on the bottom um, reflector. So some crest pattern going on as well. Um, trunk seems to be quite all right. We're only given a passage through because we have a reclining second row seat. We're not given a spare tire, rather we're given a puncture kit with some tools, okay? Yeah, really don't have much time, so. Okay, before, before we uh, go, uh, I'd just like to uh, show you a few different other colors. That seems to be black, that's my car. It seems to be like a little bit Greenish. This is uh, burgundy. This is really nice. Uh, blue as uh, charcoal to be like matte white. So, which is pretty nice. Uh, I never thought they would use this color for the Genesis G90, but yeah, we really don't have much time. So let's go head back. Okay. Okay. Let me just quickly check out the handling capability. Oh, the chassis feels rock solid and love the fact that ESC isn't engaging too early. It's letting me have some fun. You can definitely feel the active rear steering wheel system working. And when you really push it, the funny thing is the multi-chamber air suspension really feels rigid too. So um, yeah, we don't have much time and really snowed yesterday. Uh, nice. So. Uh, Really hope to show you how this Genesis G90 handles when, it, when I get it as a press car. But I think, you know, it handles pretty nice for this class and size. Yeah.
the active rear wheel steering will turn the opposite direction to you know reduce the turning radius and on higher speed it will turn the same direction to increase high stability yeah feels very stable okay now let me just turn on the adaptive cruise control and as you can see it's a very delicate system placing the car right on the center and also keeping a safe distance with the car in front and you know this Genesis G90 will of course tell you to put your hands on the steering wheel and this Genesis G90 will actually change the lanes for you if there isn't any car but by the law here in Korea you're supposed to have your hands on the steering wheel so yeah some work to do but this feels pretty nice and even on very high speeds feels stable and nicely isolated the air suspension multi-chamber air suspension really provides you know the correct uh, smooth ride but when you really push it it becomes hard so i kind of really look forward to throw this car around the corner so stay tuned guys and you can really feel the uh, rear steering wheel uh, working in the opposite directions in low speed up to two degrees genesis says yep and for the first time genesis g90 comes with diffuser inside you can choose among three scents and you can put up to two cartridges inside the glove and yeah it's it's pretty good i mean it's not like strong strong but with the uh, climate control you can actually smell the scent yeah <laughs> and before we end the show let me just let you hear the 23 speaker sound system by bang and wolfson Yeah, sounds pretty good and it seems like Genesis is divorcing the uh, Lexicon sound system and getting close to uh, Bang & Wolfson. I'm not an expert, but I think it sounds pretty good. Takes the bass nice and sounds crisp. So, yeah, do let me know what do you guys think about the uh, Bang & Wolfson sound system. All right guys, this has been a first look and first drive for the all new second generation Genesis G90. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye bye.